Are you short? We'll stop it. And if you don't want to be short, I've got the solution for you. And so does WikiHow. Today we're going to be looking at how to not be short, okay? Because people don't like short people anymore. And I don't, I don't quite understand why. Because think about all the great short people throughout history. You have Napoleon Bonaparte, the French war dude. He killed a bunch of guys and he was good, I think. And, um, <sighs> Cody Co. I don't know. I don't know. But you don't have to worry about that because you and I are going to learn together how to not be short. First method, changing your diet. So a little picture here shows veggies, lean protein, and complex carbs. Okay, let's elaborate on that a little bit. Eat a healthy, nutritious diet to help your body grow. Good nutrition is essential for reaching your height potential, which is the highest your body can grow. Build your meals around fresh vegetables, fruits, and lean proteins. Okay, that's actually not, not too bad. Um, later in the article, they talk about how uh, eating the legs of people who are taller than you will actually increase your chances of being taller as well. So in essence, I think we can change the, the first method here from changing your diet to just be a cannibal. Actually, it goes on. It's a step-by-step. -step. Incorporate more protein in your diet. Humans have a lot of meat, you know, a lot, a lot of meat in those legs. So you'll, you'll get a lot of protein from that. I'm sure you will. Uh, method number three, eat an egg every day if you're not allergic to them. If you are allergic to them, however, this will give you more power and resistance um, from being allergic to them down the future. So if you are allergic to eggs, eat more of them. And while it won't help you get taller, it will... Um, it will give you a, a visit to the ER, so that's always good. Whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger, right? Consume a serving of dairy each day to support your growth. Okay. okay. Take calcium and vitamin supplements. Oh, okay. Just take over-the-counter medicine, I think is the general gist of this one. So, like, really, you want to be taking um, Benadryl, ibuprofen, Tylenol PM. Uh, actually, I've been following this step pretty closely. I got a little pill bottle right here. I don't know what's in it, but it makes you feel good. I don't know if it gets you taller, but <laughs> it'll make you feel good. Method number two, making lifestyle changes. Okay, so it looks like instead of standing, <laughs> sit. <laughs> oh, no, 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 it's maintain good posture. Okay, that's actually fair, because that's been something I'm trying to do is is, is sit better because if you if you stand up straighter right you, you puff out that chest a little bit more keep your back straight you will be a little bit taller so I, I do agree with this number two break the ankles of the hot mom that you see at your son's school every day okay well you know that's I'm not sure how that gets you taller but if you got enemies, then hey, <laughs> ball on them. Also, that looks like Pam from The Office. Get a good night's sleep. Ah, yes, very important. Very important. If you do go the eating other people's legs who are taller than you route, you will need um, sleep so that you feel refreshed and rejuvenated enough to chase them down during the day. Number four, treat illnesses as soon as you feel sick because they slow your growth. Okay, so this one must be in direct response with the whole eating eggs if you're allergic to them. If you are allergic to eggs, again, if you go to the doctor, you'll heal from it, right? You'll, they'll give you like antibiotics, like just medication that will make you not feel sick or lessen the, the reaction of an allergic reaction. But if you do that, your body can't naturally fight off the, the reaction. So what you want to do if you do get an allergic reaction to eating those eggs, don't go to the doctor. Your body will fight it off naturally and you will become stronger. Again, I don't know if that's gonna help you with getting taller, but you know, <clears throat> this is WikiHow. Visit your doctor if you're concerned that you're shorter than average. Okay, yeah, so if, they, if, if eating people's legs didn't work, if uh, <clears throat> crossing people up at the local YMCA also didn't work, and eating protein also doesn't work, just go to your doctor and tell them to give you spine injections and that'll just really, you know, that'll just get you up there. And it goes straight into the bone too. It's not the muscle around it. It, the, the, it it's very simple. It, the, the needle goes
goes right, like right there. I can't show you it very well, but you know, your spine, you just take the needle, shove it directly into the bone. And um, you should be taller. However, if you do paralyze yourself, you know, I, it's, it is what it is. It's all in the pursuit of the greater good of being taller. Stretching to reach your full height. Oh, yes, perfect one. Actually, if you have ever seen, you know what, let me just show you. Those medieval torture devices. Okay, well, I didn't find the one that I was looking for, but this brazen bull right here, I believe, um, will also help in your resistance to becoming shorter. Because inside the brazen bull, of course, you're going to be like a little crunched over a little bit, but if you follow the WikiHow article and you keep good posture while you're in there, yes, you're burning alive. It's, it, you got to do what you got to do, right? It's not always a clear cut path, but you keep your back straight. Um, you know, you're, you're, you're burning, you're being boiled inside of a lot, inside of a big metal bowl. It's fine. Keep the posture straight, eat your lean proteins, your vegetables, legs, eggs, all that, and hey, you may come out an inch or two taller. 5'11", now you're 6'1". There you go, brazen bull. And if you were confused on some of the stretches you might want to do, you might want to do one of these. Well, let me take a step back for you right there. You might want to do some, some of these, like this. Both arms over to the left, and then both arms over to the right. One of those, oh, at a, at a 45 degree angle too. It's just some of those. That's really what's going to extend that spine. And then, of course, you want to get your back extensions. Um, this, of course, is best done when you tie your hands to a vehicle, a wall, whichever one you like. And you can also tie the other end to a vehicle or a wall, as long as you have a moving one on one side or moving one on the other side or moving and not moving on one side, it really doesn't matter. And you just want to tell them to, 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 to put that one in drive to right there. Go ahead and hit, hit 50, not even a slow accelerate either. I just punch the gas. As a matter of fact, if you, if you can, make sure it's either a large truck, Ford F-150, one of them big bulky some guns right there, or like a sports car that it just That'll just, as soon as you accelerate to the max, just tear your spine in half. So that way you can actually get some more vertebrae. A lot of people don't know this, but you actually have like four to five hidden vertebrae. A lot of it's on genetics, but you at least have four to five hidden vertebrae that you can get if you really just <clears throat> that out, you know? Oh, and that's it. Well, I hope you learned something. I hope you learned how to get taller. Um, of course, if anything, if any of these things don't work, you can always just stay short. Um, you could be a French general who wages wars against the British, like Napoleon. Or you could be, um, Cody Co. You can just be him. You can just be a commentary YouTuber. So, those are your only options. And if you don't want to go with any of those two, then you're screwed. Have a good one.